We've all been there. You're applying your makeup and before you know it, you're pulling off a bold lip so stunning you have to snap that selfie. But when to post? Yes, of course, Black Lives Matter. I have to fight for justice. It's just too soon to post that selfie. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Still too soon, but when? As always, when in doubt, ask a person of color. So that's why I'm asking you. Okay, yeah, so I'm Asian. Uh, and while I do face systemic racism, the current focus is on dismantling problems facing black people in America. Yeah. And I knew that. I yeah. didn't know that. And that's why we now use the term black and indigenous people of color. Wow, I'm learning so much. It's okay to make mistakes, Ariel. I mean, like just this morning, I put a sausage in a coffee cup. But to be clear, don't post it. Woody said not to post it, but we've learned it's important to listen to what your black friend has to say. It might be different. Now is not the time for your hot selfies, Ariel Gitlin. Uh, that's right. De defund the police. Say it again. Defund the police. Fucking right. When La La Land accidentally won the Oscar, I cried. And then when Moonlight won, I cried again, but that one was out of happiness. My aunt posted a Blue Lives Matter post, and I, I thumbs downed it. And then I drafted a message to her, and I almost sent it. So. What if I take one at a protest? You can't post it. Don't white people. Tristan said not to post. So I spent some time reading Black content and found an interesting passage that Blackness is not a monolith and that it's important to seek out a diversity of Black voices. And that means, call your other Black friend. How good is this selfie? It is like so good. Also, three of my last four posts have been about dismantling caucasity. The fourth one was about discovering the word caucasity. Anyways, I'll send it to you. Well, damn, this is hot. Uh, but I'm sorry, not quite hot enough to be a worthy distraction from the movement. So, yeah. Understood. Thank, okay. thank you, Laura. You're welcome. You look good, though. I guess the moral of this story is that dismantling white supremacy is a long-term project and that I'm hot with at least two black friends. <laughs>